Hello kids, good morning. How are you all? I hope all are being staying safe and enjoying our online classes. And we had begun with our fourth lesson, Shivaji's childhood. Correct? And before this, in the last lecture, we had finished our two topics, which were the birth of Shivaji and Shivaji's childhood. So today we are going to look into two to three topics and thus we will finish our lesson. So let us begin our class today, kids. So are you understanding what am I trying to teach you? yeah okay if you, are, you if you have any doubts regarding it you can definitely tell me okay so let us begin our today's topic and uh, we are going to learn about shahaji raje how was his uh, behavior or how was he towards the mughals so open your textbook page number 14 and just uh, have listen to me what i am telling you or what i am teaching you okay so in this what we are going to learn like what was how was shahaji raje's behavior towards the mughals so basically we know that shahaji raje he had written to nizam shahi correct as he had written to nizam shahi there he didn't have any peace of mind uh, uh, due to like he had left adil shahi and then he had come to nizam shahi so he didn't have any peace of mind in the last lecture we saw uh, there were uh, adil shah was also attacking his uh, dynasty kingdom or kingdom or and uh, also the mughals are attacking right so he kept zabai in the fort of shivaneri and then uh, he felt her like she's safe in that place and so he left back for the war we had seen till this correct so uh, he had joined hands with nizam shahi uh, and that is why he was in great trouble right he didn't have peace of any mind and uh, what they are telling us in this paragraph is nizam shah himself was an fickle minded person like a person who is not con uh, like constant in constant on his own decision like if someone is coming and someone uh, someone is coming and telling him a gossip about someone so he will believe on that and if some other person is coming and telling something about the uh, some on same topic he is telling something different so he he will believe on that so he is not constant he doesn't have a constancy uh, on his own decision he will completely flipper like we can say he's a flipper type person he was so he was a fickle minded person so he used to believe either this way that way he used to believe each and every gossip so the, due to this what happened uh, he he had created many rivalries uh, among uh, like for himself only due to his such kind of behavior so what happened and he he was a gossip believer basically he used to be, believe most of the gossips what were there he used to not be constant on his own decision so that way and due to which the rivalries were created small small rivalries were created among him, himself like in his court only and among the out from the outsiders as well so due to this what happened lakuji rao was killed in his own court when he himself was present he himself was present over there like nizam shah was present over there and in front of him only in his court only the people killed lakhuji rao zado and due to this shahaji raje was completely upset and very angry and very impatient like he couldn't believe that they killed lakhuji rao lakhuji rao zado in front like when nizam was present over there in front of him he only like he didn't stop them or do anything so Shahadi Raja really got very angry and upset and he was very impatient. So therefore what he did, he thus left Nizam Shahi. He, he couldn't be there in the Nizam Shahi court anymore. He was so angry. So what he did, he just left that court and then what he did, he again joined, like he joined hand, hands with Mughals. So he started basically being with Mughals and thus uh, Shah Jahan, the Mughal emperor as Shah uh, Raje was a uh, great man. So understanding his importance, uh, he rewarded him, like he made him the Sardar at uh, his court whose court Shah Jahan's court the Mughal emperor's court so this is about what they are explaining us in the first answer moving on forwards what they are telling us at that same time now the Fateh Khan who was he who is Fateh Khan I have explained you in the last le uh, lesson who was Fateh Khan right he was the wazir in Nizam Shah's court so what he basically did he secretly joined hands with Mughal so in in front of everyone in front of nizam so nizam shah and the mughals were enemies of each other correct so this uh fateh khan he was with whom he was the wazir of nizam shah but what he did he betrayed nizam shah and he killed nizam shah secretly by joining hands with mughals so he 
basically being with nizam shah he betrayed him and he killed nizam shah and therefore nizam shah he almost came to an end and he he was he secretly joined hands with moguls and he was friends with mogul so mogul emperors uh, like he joined hands with the his enemy the enemy of whom nizam shah correct so so that is what this fateh khan did and due to which there were many uh, like uh, nizam shah he was completely coming to an end so there was in over over all the state overall state there was uh, really no ruling party there was a lot of disturbance all the way so the state was in like a uh, great in uncontrolled the state was uh, like completely disturbed we can say unsettled the state was there is no uh, mughal emperor also like he is not ruling completely neither the nizam shah the wars are continuously going on and the people are moving from this place to that place they continuously shifting from here to this kingdom to that kingdom so there was a great a uh, trouble in whole of the state so this was the effect when nizam shah had when he was killed and why whom fateh khan his own wazir he betrayed him that is the meaning and as fateh khan had killed nizam shah so the mogul emperor was very happy and what he did he rewarded him the territory of whom shahaji raje so he rewarded him the territory of pune so which was the territory of shahaji raje he rewarded him that territory due to which what happened shahaji raje got very angry like because he himself such a brave person he was managing that jagir of pune and supe so he literally had to give that territory so shahaji raje was really unhappy with that the territory of pune and supe he he had to leave that and like leave in the sense the mogul emperor he was the king right so uh, shahaji raje was be, uh, uh, like working for the mogul emperor correct so that mogul emperor uh, had given right that shahaji raje will take care of this but basically uh, this mogul emperor only what he did shah jahan he gave that same territory of pune and supe to this fateh khan as a reward as a gift we can say why he killed nizam shah and thus his kingdom ended so thus uh, the nizam shah he came to an end therefore so shahaji raje became very angry like being so loyal and being working so hard for him uh, still he did such with him so he was angry and he left him the mogul emperor and he as he left he also decided one thing that he will teach and lesson to this mogul emperor okay so this is uh, what they are telling about shahaji raje how he was with the moguls okay